Hello, Jazz Energy here, getting ready for our first full episode of the Madden Rebuild. And by full episode, I mean an actual game involved in this one, as we will be taking on the Buffalo Bills. This is the Saints Rebuild. And we're going to see how Justin Fields does for the first quarter of the preseason game. Tonight, from the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Fields and the New Orleans Saints versus Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. I expect this first quarter to be a butchery. Super Bowls. Here's a look inside the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. Tonight we kick off the preseason with a good matchup right away between the Buffalo Bills and the New Orleans Saints. Ah, yes, Dawson Knox. That's who I think of when I first think of Bills players. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time. But admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And oh. the decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and he'll take this ahead for All right, about not a bad run to second start. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Fields. Ah, shit. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. All righty, then. Just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as uh. they to tackle him at about the 28. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. Back deep, Naheem Hines. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is oh, at the boy. helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while their others oh, have God. big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, he finds his man complete. It's Barton. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Here's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in oh, a sprinter fuck. stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. To throw, it's Allen. It's caught by Davis. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Allen to throw once more. Over the middle complete. It's McKenzie. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. On play action, Allen. To the sideline, and it's caught. But, boy, he's out of bounds. Now they tried to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. All right, come it's on, let's go, man. It's been a good drive here. offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third right. and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Okay, home to a field goal. Out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive stalls out, but the field goal does get him the first points of the night. And three points not to be underestimated. How about this, right? You're on the road. You're under the lights, national television audience. This is not a dress rehearsal, partner. This is for real, and a pretty nice opening statement. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. Damn it. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up, let's see. There what we the go. Defense does here too after a good stop. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. To throw his fields. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. He's got room at the 30. He'll get this one down near That's the right. yard line. Just shy of the 20. That one good for 37 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Well, there's a new man here under center. What do you think they saw to acquire him, Charles? I think they went back to their old scouting reports because those never go away. And I think that they liked him when he was coming out of school. Didn't have the opportunity to get him. But now with this opportunity, they think they can get him back to this former level. Try to pound it in, Kamara. Oop. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's oh, reach. Damn. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Now Fields on third and goal. To the inside, oh man! But it's incomplete. Had him open, he just fucking missed. What was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm gonna give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that. Well, pass. we tied it up. That drive 
took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he's still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Calling a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Oh, they're just going to let it run. Okay. 3-3, three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Here comes the backup train. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Is that John Wolford? And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first. God damn, that is Sean Wolford. 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. There we go. And down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Completes to Shakira again. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Come on, Tom buddy. Bass Missed the field, the, goal. the field goal. Come on, Bass. The right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Oh, no, the that's it. By Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Man, I know so many people Holy hell, the Lions obliterates the Dolphins. Eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The former ASU Sun Devil, Eno Benjamin with it. All right. He's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Play fake. Winston rolling to his right. Ah! This one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. And this will wind up a Saints first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Working out of the gun, Winston. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. There we go. A big time play there for I love the, the slants. Slant to the slot guy. Slant to the slot guy. Partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Winston now to throw on first down. 
Oh! He goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. I think Jameis Winston's dead. Sacked a boogie bash him. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Here's Winston. His throw caught at about the five. Nice, nice. And he'll be brought down all right, right the all right. the goal line at about the one yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive court. Yeah! Fullback dive, baby! Adam Troutman punching it in from a yard away as they have taken the lead. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And he's got it as the lead is now 10 6. So this Ude. Space Ude Saints, oh, we day Saints. And it ends with a one yard touchdown run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Bills going to take over again on offense. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard. Right there now. we go. And he's taken down here by the Saints. They'll wind up losing 10 on the That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And this Damn it! Into a nice game oh, wait, he didn't get it. Able to pick up a dozen yards. He didn't get it. Scramble, but not enough. Fourth down. All right. The Bills send the punter out. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow. All right, let's get a gap going here. Let's get a gap going, baby. will take over with a first down and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And they'll be looking. I want to check something quick. Just make sure here. Please stand by. Do, 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 do. Is... Uh, have we been getting no audio? To build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, test, distributing test, the ball test, well, test, distributing it accurately. Test, test, keep, test, 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 oh boy. Vince, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing? Never game? mind. Pass rush. Pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just front, being a goof. Maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Oh. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. All right, let's see here. This is Benjamin. And a nope. nice gain there as he'll be taken down. Ah, uh, not bad, but. Give him five China. yards there, and it'll bring up second down. Jameis to throw it. That pass is caught by Hardy. Ha-ha! Slant the route field. to the a slot receiver. Gotta have a fast slot that's receiver. 40 yards on the catch and run. Well, he's certainly trying to earn his win. There's some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. They run it with Benjamin. And some room to maneuver. There we go. That opened up for him well. Pound the rock. Down to the 26 yard line. And between the last two plays, they moved it over half the length of the football field. 
try stretch. I'm not usually not good at stretch plays, but we'll give it a go. They'll run again with Benjamin, and he is not going to go anywhere. That's They're all right. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Now on second and 13, Winston. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Holding So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. God damn, they're right on top of me every time. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and shoot yeah. the sticks. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. All right. So we just need to keep pushing with defense right now. Try to keep inching our way forward. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started. Jesus Christ. You know, maybe something Since when can Wolford bit, say scramble like that? Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Here's Wolford to the air. There we go. We kind of just fell into that sack, but I'll take it. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. There goes again. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Oh. There will be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. And the Saints offense. You know what we're going for. Late in this first half. And with a seven point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. It's hauled in by Hardy. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Time, time, time. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing Winston. Open man, it's Keith Kirkwood. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. To throw again on second down, Winston. Who will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense to throw Winston. 
That into the hands of his tight end, Holtz. And he is going to have a Saints first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down All right. and five. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop. Oh, I went way too weak there. And he has Maybe not. Harrison Buckers, that guy. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. I imagine and they're going to kneel it because I kick off from the second half. half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Yeah, they're just no kneeling. reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached half. Well, we all miss football in the offseason, but apparently not everybody missed halftime. We skip right over it. We get back to the action. Yeah, we're not going through the halftime court, at least probably not this not one. Likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. God damn it. Slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now it's Hines. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Honestly, never bothered much with... Defense, so I'm trying to figure out what all these fucking buttons do. They run again with Hines. And Got him. Good game last play. This time they say, uh-oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. <laughs> On play action. Now Wolford. He can't keep doing this. Here, still a little shy of the first down marker. And give him How the fuck do I keep able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Wolford. And that's knocked away and incomplete. All right. and that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. On the return, Hardy. Good return, nice good return. return. Time of about 14 yards. Work our and way up that field. Take over first and 10. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they yeah. love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Winston got his tight end. Oh, he put it on. Oh, you. And his guys will take you over butt munch. Their own yard line. You know, if this is the regular season, Parker, we'd be talking about just how costly a mistake that was, but probably good for him to get it out of his system right now. Just hope for him and the team it's not a sign of things to come. Yeah, without a doubt. Plus, got to worry about making the team. Those types of errors don't help you. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. This is Hines. 
And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. The throw over the middle taken in. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. To throw, it's Wolford. And oh, he had it. Intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. That, uh, that was right in his hands. All right. And that is no good. I hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work. We got the ball back, though. That's what matters. Into that 10 point lead. Down here in the third quarter, obviously, that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Come on, guys. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Winston. Benjamin's got it. And some room to run now. All right. They're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second. Let's see what Derek Gore can do here. We'll give him a run. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And he's dropped eh. just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Dive play right up the middle. Let's go. Get that first down. On the ground, Benjamin. That's all we need it. Picks up the first before he's taken down at the Gave us a little line. more, too. 64 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Right back to him on first down. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Just gotta keep pounding the rock. They'll try it up the gut with Gore. Ten not great, not the Virginia great. Tech Hokey in there on the stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On third down, Winston. Oh, he had it. Be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. This is why I was so focused on getting a good kicker. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. On all men so difficulty, I have my problems with uh, if one guy gets loose for 70 yards. This is a different game, but as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. I have some problems with finish coming drives. out, ready to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be
would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Jeez. And this nice. turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Shotgun now for Wolford. Shakir hauls it in. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason foot. Sports. Throwing again on second down. Wolford. Oh, good move. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Hines is in touchdown bills well time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news and we may be a moment because we've got a game again yeah, Martin, except for those on the west coast where it'll be seen in its regular time right that's the way it works doesn't it but how about that big time drive right there if they're gonna have any chance they needed a touchdown there and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone all right best case here we got to score and he elects not I mean, to bring this one out as his guys will take over at the 25. So now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. Around, that last oh, touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Lady, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. There's our baby. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Let's see if they figured this out. From the shotgun, oh, yeah, it's Winston. <laughs> he gets this into the hands of Kirkwood. That should not have worked, but it did, so. Yeah, he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now left side, a completion to his tight end, and they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him, because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere but that's what they tried to do Locked jesus on his right tried to work his way back to his left but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly now third down is looming a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there so seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage from the gun winston come on oh he had it Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted. And spotted at the 14-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Start on the ground with Hines. 
Jones. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Wolford going to throw. There we go. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. They get to him for a loss of four. And it brings up third down on the sack. Wolford looking to throw it. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. All right. The Bills send that the punter out, up. standing just outside his own goal line. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On the run is Benjamin. All right, and he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. First down, Benjamin, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 90 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Benjamin, and tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, well, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive well, side. Well, it sounds it? like he Defense died in this process. You know but where the first down marker was and making yeah, sure they didn't get there. Up there. They only get two yeah, they're giving him a break. We got Derek Ford now. They needed to keep the drive alive. Up the middle they go with Gore. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to All throw right. it effectively as well. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Winston. It's brought in by Kevin White. Stop. And he's got a first Buddy. down as a tackle made at the Bills 29-yard line. That was for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Right, so it's Saints block. football as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking I'm good. I'm sorry, as they but there's two minutes left in a one-score game, buddy. We can snuggle later. Up the middle they go. Benjamin. And he's able to motor his way right. down to the 16-yard line. That's exactly line. what we need. now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. Sir. Sir. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now a handoff up the middle. Benjamin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Well, make up your now mind. Do you want to my lap or not? And final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. You're getting there? Almost there. Come on, get your old ass on there. Alrighty. Now there's an hobby. On third down, Benjamin. And he'll be oh, taken shit. down, but he does have first Don't down. Be a holding. Fuck! 
come on. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding okay, penalty. Yeah. And so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Winston. Well, Damn it. End zone, but it's incomplete. Right. What an excellent defensive stand Still there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was oh, to God. bring up fourth down here. Butker's kick here is good. Well, no. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now... As you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. So the Bills now down by nine. A minute 35 to go. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and ten. Big mistakes and we should be Wolford right. now on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Barton. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Oh, that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Wolford looking to throw third and two. Ow. That's caught by Shakir. And what kind of honky dory bullshit down. was Is that? Get the third down conversion. Pass complete to Hines. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Steps away to his left. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead, out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. That's a loss of eight yards there to bring up third. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Yeah! And this is intercepted, and that should do it. I got my interception goal. Woo! are going to take possession of the football. On the last the defensive court, play of the game. You know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get... That's all she wrote. But Charles, a very simple mission any time that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. Beat I'm them Brandon in every Gordon. category but turnovers, which NFL we're tied on in. EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans. Ah, yes. No highlights. That sounds about right. Well, Winston seems like he'll be a nice, reliable backup. Didn't really get much out of fields. He only threw four passes, so... But the team looks like it 
has the capability of being pretty good. Little short of our 450 plus offensive yards, but we cleared everything else pretty easily. Upgrade the staff. All right, first week is in the books, and it was a good one. So I thank you for joining me for it, and I hope you join me for future episodes of this Saints franchise mode. Thanks for watching. Jazz out.